Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 things you should never do in Among Us. For this list, we'll be going over some major don'ts when playing Among Us. If you have any other bad ideas to avoid in the game, don't avoid our comments and tell us about them. Number 10, split off early. The first round in a game of Among Us is often critical to determining the course of the match. Imposters can make a lot of early headway if they can manage to isolate and kill the crewmates quickly enough. For this reason, going off by yourself or in a group of one to three immediately is a good way to either get yourself killed first or look sus to the rest of the group. While the former is definitely a crewmate only problem, the latter is something you want to avoid regardless of whether you're crew or imposter. Number 9. Fake a visual task. When your crew, faking any tasks is generally pretty dumb, but it's part and parcel for being an imposter. But there are some tasks that are impossible to fake if a certain setting is turned on. These visual tasks display animations when someone is performing them. Some examples include the med bay scan or shooting the asteroids. If an imposter tries to pretend they're doing one with the animation turned on, any nearby crew can easily spot that they're not who they claim to be and get them voted out. Number 8. Take out your accusers. During discussions, things can get pretty heated. When you're an imposter, it can be tempting to want to kill the crewmates who speak against you in meetings. Although this can sometimes be helpful, in general, it can look very sus, as killing the people accusing you is a common enough tactic that everyone tends to do it. So, unless you want to try to pull off a double bluff, like, why would I kill my accuser? That's such a small brain play. You're going to want to avoid taking out your biggest critics. Instead, if possible, try to gain their trust by traveling with them and not killing them while your partner, if you have one, goes on a killing spree. Number 7. Lose track of your alibi. Alibis are an important part of playing Among Us. Having an answer for where you were and what you were doing is crucial to all players to avoid sus during discussions. If you can't remember where you were on the map or the tasks you were performing, then you're definitely going to look more guilty to other players. The best ways to avoid this are to learn each map and where every task is as best as you can, as well as to travel in groups. So if you do forget where you were, someone else can account for your location. Also, being as honest as you can be is better than an outright lie. Number 6. Ignore a dead body. Corpses can be scary, but ignoring a dead body is generally a bad idea if there's anyone else around, regardless of whether you're crew or not. If you can make a clean getaway as imposter, then by all means leave the body there. But if not, it's better to take the suspicion that you're reporting a kill you made than to be seen standing next to a body you didn't report. And if you're a crewmate, not reporting a kill is even more inexcusable, since at least the imposters actually have cause to not report a body. Sure, you may get sussed too, but any delay in telling others can only help the imposters. Number 5. Ignore Tasks Tasks are one of the crewmates' two ways to achieve victory. By completing all their tasks, the crewmates win. 
While some players like to prioritize detective work, it isn't okay to forgo your duties entirely. Tasks help keep the pressure on the imposters to kill, which can lead them to slipping up and getting caught. By ignoring tasks, a player allows imposters to take more time to pick and choose their kills to avoid discovery, while putting more pressure on themselves to complete tasks towards the end of the game. Basically, don't procrastinate, especially if you're already dead. Alright, let's go find out who it is, because I'm not doing my tasks. They're being jerks. Number four, do nothing. Although doing nothing may sound like the same as not doing tasks, it's a little bit more than that. As an imposter, you can't win unless you kill at least one person. As a crew, even if you don't do tasks, you can still keep an eye on other players, such as by looking at security cameras or logs. You can also keep other players company so that their body doesn't go unreported. By doing absolutely nothing at all, either by standing around or wandering aimlessly, you're contributing nothing to the crewmate's efforts. Plus, it's a good way to look sus. Bottom line, if you're not going to participate in the game, why play at all? Number 3. Go Solo As we mentioned earlier, going off on your own early is a bad idea, but it extends to throughout the whole game. Forming up in pairs or even trios is a good idea for imposters and crewmates, since it gives you an alibi. The buddy system is also useful for rooting out the imposter, because it means that if one of you does betray the other, the rest of the crew know who to blame. Going alone means that everyone is going to look to you first if someone dies, and it paints a big target on your back for any imposter who happens to see you by yourself. Like the wise man from another game says, it's dangerous to go alone. Number 2. Vote on 4 or 7 Voting someone out isn't always smart. Although kicking out someone sus is generally pretty safe when there are between 8 and 10 players left, after that it becomes more complicated. If there are 7 people left, it's generally a bad idea to vote if there are 2 imposters left. If you vote wrong, then the imposters just need to kill 2 people to win the game. Likewise, voting when there are 4 players can also be dicey. If you vote incorrectly, then the imposter merely has to kill one of the two remaining to snatch victory away from you. In both cases, skipping means a body is more likely to be reported and thus you'll have more info to make an informed decision. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Be inconsistent No one is an imposter or crewmate 100% of the time. Sooner or later, you're going to play as the other. If, for example, you're aggressive and inquisitive as a crewmate, but quiet and disinterested as an imposter, people are going to notice if you play Among Us with the same group. Any difference in how you usually play is going to look sus to people you play regularly with and get you discovered as an imposter or wrongfully kicked out as a crewmate. Therefore, it's important to remain consistent in your playstyle. That way you get to play longer and have more fun. In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.